vacuuming and mopping shouldn't be a chore. And this is why I'm testing for you today the Slashy Doll VC03 2-in-1 wet and dry cordless vacuum and mop at the same time. I'm gonna first unbox it, show you what's in the box, how to assemble it, how to use it, and then I'm gonna be testing it. So this here is everything that comes with the device. So this is the user manual and warranty information. This is the neck. These are extensions for cleaning. This is the main device with the tank here. This here is the wall mount. If you want to mount it to a wall with screws. This is the battery. So this is the head of the vacuum. Charger. And this is a mop here. So it has a tank. And this is here the mopping pad. It is removable and washable. And you have an extra mop that comes with it. The first thing you need to do is to assemble the battery. So the battery goes into the main unit like this. It has rails here and there are here keys. So align the rails with the keys and it just snaps in. So if you want to just use this for instance, you can just put it here and notice here that it snaps in place. And if you want to remove it, click here and then it can be removed easily. And this is the other head. It has two functions. So this function here, and if you want to use the brushes only, you can just slide this in like this, and you can use the brushes. And also you can put it like this directly. So you have the neck here. Notice that the neck, it has a key, and it should go in here. So you can snap it in like this. And of course, also, the extensions, you can use them in the neck if you want to. So this is how you put them. And the neck itself, it is adjustable. So if you press here on the red button, you can adjust it. It has many adjustments. So this is a head. It has the bristles here in case you want to clean them. See the key here? Just snap it like this. It opens. Remove it and clean it. And you can put it back in like this. And this is the water tank. I'm going to fill it later and show you how to mop with it. So here it opens. You can fill the water here with some detergent. I'm going to use some detergent for the water. And when you put the water and you install it on the head, it will drip water continuously while you're mopping. So if you want to stop it, you can push this button here. This way you can keep it filled and it will not drip. And if you want to use it, open it like this. And to install it on the head, you need to put it like this, and then the head goes like this in it, and that's it. So it works like this. So I'm gonna now charge the battery because every rechargeable battery before first use should be charged fully. And once the battery is charged fully, I'm gonna show you the operation and how to set the power. And this is a battery indicator. And then I'm gonna do a small demonstration for you, dry and wet. To charge the battery, I'm gonna simply plug it in here like this, and then plug it into the wall. This is an adapter that works from 110 volts until 220 volts. So this is a battery charging, and this is a charging level. When the battery charges completely, all the levels will be lit. While the battery is charging, let me talk about the important specifications of this vacuum cleaner. So it has a suction power of 200 watts and it has a dust capacity of 500 milliliters and for the water it can go up to 220 milliliters and the battery is 2600 milliampere hour. It takes 5.5 hours to fully charge and you can operate it from 12 to 28 minutes of course, according to the power. So if you put it on full power, in 12 minutes, the battery will be depleted. And if you put it on low power, in 28 minutes, the battery will be depleted. Now the battery is fully charged. Before operating the vacuum cleaner, let me tell you that it has two speeds and it is touch sensitive. So when you turn it on, it goes by default to the low speed. And when you touch it like this, it will go to high speed. So high suction power if you need it. I'm going to show you. To turn it on, you have this on-off button here. So if you press it once and you leave it, it will turn on. And as I said, it will turn on on low speed. 
if you want to put it in high speed just put your finger here and now it goes into high speed so let me show you now how it will remove these steel oats it has a very good suction power and notice how it steers also let me put it in low speed So it is really good. So now let me show you how to use the mop. So now I'll be filling up the mop. It has an opening here. Just open it like this. And you need to fill it. So even if it spills, it will pick it up. So I'm going to show you also how it will pick up the water. So I'm going to fill it up here just a little bit. And notice it spilled everywhere. This is on purpose so that to show you how it will clean it up. And you see the mop, it has open and close. Of course, if you want to use it, you need to put it on open. So let me put it here. And now simply put it here like this. It will go in it. And let's start mopping. So I'm going to remove the water. Let me show you the water a little bit. How it will pick it up. And how it will mop. So notice how it removed the water. All the water is removed. And it is mopping. And this is what I like about it. So it vacuums and then it mops afterwards. And this really, really saves time. When you finish mopping, make sure to close it so that you don't drip water everywhere in your house. And just to remove it, just put your hands here and pull it up. It will be removed very easily. Now for the cleaning of the filters, of course, whenever you see that the filter needs cleaning, just go and clean it. They advise you to clean it once a month. And this one, after each usage, you should wash it. And they say to change it each month. But I think it can last much more than a month. Now, let me tell you about what I like and what I don't like about this vacuum cleaner. First, I like the fact that this is a multi-function vacuum cleaner and mop at the same time and this saves time a lot and also I like the fact that it has a good suction power so it picks up the dirt everywhere that you put it and also I like the fact that it has many heads so you have a brush head you have like a pointy head and I like the fact that its snack is adjustable also so this is very important also. Now what I don't like about it is the fact that the battery drains in 12 minutes on high power. Another thing that I want to bring to your attention is that when you put the mop, the vacuum cleaner becomes a little bit hard to push and this is normal because the mop is wet and then you're gonna exert some power for it to push. Just make sure that you put it as much as possible horizontally so that it will be pushed very easily because if you put it vertically you might break the neck here and this way it will last you longer. So that was my review of the Lassidol VC03 2-in-1 wet and dry cordless vacuum cleaner. I hope that you liked my review and you found it useful. By the way, I have an Amazon affiliate link in the description below if you care to check out this vacuum cleaner. I will gain a small percentage if you make a purchase using my link at no cost to you and this will help my channel. If you liked my video, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and this will help the channel greatly and this way you will not miss any future videos I make. I'm Eloy and I want to thank you all for watching. See you on the next video.